All right, guys, so I'm back on the little mini AC repair. Um, I'm gonna be changing this line right here. I believe it's called a suction hose. It goes to that 10 millimeter right there, and uh, it basically just attaches right there. It goes into this one, and this is like a whole different um, hose right here. This one is not available from an aftermarket company, so if yours is uh, busted or something, you'll have to find a junkyard one or go to Acura, but they don't really have like an, an inexpensive uh, replacement. Okay, so uh, just 110, crack it right here. I'm actually going to um, see if I can reuse the O-rings, because the O-rings actually seem pretty good, but if, uh, if the other ones fit good, I'll replace it there and there. And I'm also going to be uh, replacing the receiver dryer, which is right there. And uh, I'm pretty sure I got to get from the side and undo the clamp and everything. I already took off uh, the ballast. The ballast is right here. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to hide that stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to uh, set the camera up and uh, replace this hose first. Got the bolt. There it is right there. Yeah, these things don't actually look that bad. I'll probably just end up reusing these. I'll see how the other ones uh, feel. All right, so a quick comparison between the two. Uh, the other one's for sure a bigger diameter. The one on the top, the one on the bottom is a little bit smaller diameter. Same length, same ports and everything. And these uh, O-rings actually look a lot better um, than the actual OEM ones because they kind of, uh, the green one actually like stick out more, like, yeah, I don't know if you can notice that, but basically the black ones already seem a little bit crushed, and yeah, so I'm going to throw this one on, and this should seal the deal. Alright, so, after uh, cleaning, re-cleaning and more cleaning, and uh, just making sure that all the particles are off. Everything seems pretty good. And uh, I made sure that I put uh, some oil inside for a good seal. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit shorter. Looks good though. Hopefully it works well. If uh, there's any leaks later on, since I'm gonna have the vacuum pump and everything, um, I can redo some seals and trouble. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, Put it back on. That's good. It's 
it's only a little 10 millimeter so nicely snug and that's ready to go looks a little weird it should be good so actually I totally forgot to put the condenser fan in so I'm gonna try and move this out the way and uh, put the fan in right now Alright guys, so after getting the uh, condenser fan in, it was actually fighting me a little bit because there's like a tab that wraps around the radiator. Um, I actually had to remove the other line to move it out the way to actually get this uh, in without moving the radiator again. But uh, yeah, I guess that was my mistake. Kind of fit a little bit different than OEM because I remember I put the condenser fan in and out while the radiator was in the car still but I couldn't really do it this time without removing this other line right here but uh, now that everything's in it fits on the bottom I'm gonna put the hardware back uh, this is not original hardware right here I gotta hit up the junkyard I don't know what happened to the original hardware that came that I took off because I took this off a while ago and stuff gets misplaced and I checked uh, the junkyards and cars were just uh, pulled of hardware and stuff so let me tighten this up put the bracket and it should all be good Alright, so there it is. It's all looking pretty good. I gotta connect uh, the condenser fan and uh, it's coming together. Next is the uh, dryer and um, a few more other things and it should be complete. Alright guys, so to get the receiver dryer out, you gotta remove the wheel. It's definitely the most annoying part of the AC because you know it's out of sight out of mind you got to pull the uh, the wheel off take off or pull back this uh, protective uh, what is that rain guard um, man I forgot the damn name but yeah so there it is right there there's my horn and all this wiring you see right here is just dangling this is the way I actually got the car um, I actually took out the windshield wiper washer and I had these zip tied nice and uh, yeah pretty much came off and uh, the reason why you see all these crimp connects like crimp connect right there and all right here and it looks pretty uh, nasty is that uh, when I got the car uh, these were actually like they came with nice lenses but everything was actually just chopped up into pieces 
and I know that the other side was involved in a little fender bender worse than what happened to me and uh, they were like completely ripped out and the actual plugs like right there for the for the lights were uh, melted so they were shorting out I don't see how things get melted when you know there's fuses everywhere that prevents uh, heat and all that stuff but yeah so when I got the car everything was a wreck I put it together using my other DC4 when I was like parting it and I junked it I got a lot of parts from it and so this is part of that harness to let you know uh, the 94 to 97 um, set up for the tail light or the lights are actually different than 98 and up um, I don't know how exactly but they're different and yeah so I'm just gonna uh, go through these wires and look how long they are too uh, one of these days I'm gonna post a quick little video and uh, shrink wrap it do it nice maybe solder maybe crimp connect maybe both but yeah so that's the reason why it looks all crappy and uh, right now I'm just gonna take off this Here's a, a pinch bolt right here, and I don't think I could slide it down from the bottom. No, I can't. There's a bracket right here on the bottom, but just take off that bolt and take off these two, and it should slide right up. All right, so another quick uh, comparison. You can see right here how it says uh, in, and there's in right there. Sorry for my hands are filthy, but yeah. So take these off. Try not to drop anything in there, and everything looks uh, identical. Import and the out. That's like a different design. And then uh, the OEM one, it's just uh, normally capped off and it's welded up there. So this one's crimped, this one's welded. And um, it's got a part number right there. On the part number. And this one has nothing. But yeah, so, so far, so good. Gonna go throw this on and uh, be done with the, this section of the AC system.
Alright, so the seals looked uh, pretty good. I, I cleaned them up real well, even though they were already clean. And uh, I put uh, more oil around for a better seal. That should be good. Alright, that's about it. Let me put everything back. And uh, yeah, it should be good. Alright guys, so if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you on the next one.